And then he said, don't wish it was easier, wish you were better. Don't wish for less problems, wish for more skills. I can't catch a break, guys. Yeah. Get them the fuck away from me. I can't I can't be around those guys. People think, oh well, cleaning your room, that's just a cliche. It's like, yeah, really, eh? Just go ahead and try it. If people had any idea how powerful sleep is for healing from anything, and the fact that it's free. My mind is absolutely bulletproof, solid as a rock. Podcast. Alright guys and welcome to another episode of the Fighting Fit Show. Um, today we are here with Brandon. Hello. Um, what is the crack of Brandon? How is isolation life? I like it. You enjoying it? I like it. Enjoying it so much that you decided to shave your head? Um, I sure, you know, I decided, you know, most millionaires pick one style of clothes. I said I'm going to pick one hairstyle. Just That's go with it. that. Just, Get rid for, of it. just for ease, no gel in the hair anymore. You basically saved yourself a couple of days over over your lifetime exactly now i, I kind of went for the opposite approach i'm just kind of good not gonna trim my beard or shave my head well i haven't i haven't really done the hair and i already did the long hair thing okay okay makes sense no it makes sense it makes oh, sense wild man. <laughs> hey, so brand the topic of today's podcast is just going to be online training online training for a lot of people can be a relatively new concept um Online training has been there for a while. As you know, um, I've been certified in online training uh, by the Online Trainer Academy now since, what, 20, 2018, early 2018? Um, maybe even late 2017, can't remember exactly. Um, but basically, kind of online training is just basically taking the best parts of having a coach or having a trainer and basically bringing it online. Um, obviously, kind of whatever has been happening with the COVID nineteen here in Ireland, kind of our studio has been shut down. But we've basically been we've kind of been operating off like a, a hybrid model um, for the last number of years. It's always been our goal. Our goal is always to be to leverage technology to deliver a higher level of service for, for people because there's just only so much you can do. There's only so many hours in the day, and that kind of face to face time, that one on one time, is kind of where a lot of the a lot of the a lot of the expenses, but then also a lot of the problems in terms of kind of scheduling and just trying to work things out. Was when you do things online, like us through our app and our app that collects all the data, people can see the workouts, all the videos. You know, you really can kind of almost for us as trainers, it really allows us to help help more people without sacrificing quality of service, which which is the, is is the key part. Um, what is your what is your kind of impressions being of, of online training say, over the last couple of years or months? I know kind of you've studied a lot of the same materials I have. Yeah, so one of the things that I really like about the online training now that like, I, I think is really, really important is, like you said, is like, um, you know, it's like when people are doing a program and they, they're, they're doing like an in-studio program, an awful lot of their focus and nearly all of their, their effort goes towards that in-studio work. And that's near, like, not that it's a bad thing, but it's like, it's not, that's not nearly the mindset that you want to cultivate. The mindset you want to cultivate is, you know, that's only a very small part of it. And the large part of it actually happens outside of, of, of the, the in studio. You know what I mean? So now this is, this is an opportunity to focus on all those other things. So you, you get, now we have an outbreak of people going for runs, you know, people doing their own workouts. I've seen, you know, it's like a, a few of the clients literally writing their own programs, setting a timer and doing it. You know what I mean? And getting all, they're still our members because what, they, what they're after is a coach. You know what they're after is somebody to keep. Or not it. necessarily. I think I think definitely what people what people want is a is a coach. Um, because some I I keep uh, I keep meaning to do a post on is like what does Kim Kardashian and Michael Phelps both have in common? They both use coaches. They both have trainers. They both have people that keep them in top peak condition. You get what I'm saying? Because that's kind of what the you know what the what the rich people do. Like you know they get they get a coach because a coach a coach isn't only for beginners or people starting out. A coach is for somebody who wants to go to that next level. You know what yeah. I mean? Somebody who wants to maintain that. Know that 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 goal bar or like, kind of get that that top level of performance. So people want to be pushed. Um, that's actually pushed that's, that's a really good point as well because actually, if I look back, I've always had a coach. Yeah, I've literally always had gym and Q, and then uh, when we stopped boxing um, as much and kind of started putting the head into fighting fit, it's like I always had you guys. Yeah, like, like, yeah we, we, we always try trying to keep your account because that's what you're going to say because you that's where, that's the kind of point I was going to make. People don't necessarily always want a coach. People want the result, and yeah. people and as you said, people wait. The kind of the in studio workouts or you know that that kind of gym workout they, they kind of put too much importance on it whereas let's say for example or like say you know i'd say what well, at least what 80 80 85 percent of our clients number one goal would be fat loss or some sort of body composition related goal you know, look so like, say again look better yeah to look better yeah aesthetics 
So basically, kind of what we're looking at, what we're looking at is like we have to realize we have to start like put first things first. You know, we got to kind of stack stack everything on top of that. So it's like the the workouts are are probably the least important part of that. It's like what is it the the eat your exercise activity thermogenesis is it, what ten percent or less of your overall calories mm-hmm. burned per day. But that's right. what you put the most the most and the the worst thing is that you put the most value in that. You, know, you put the most value in it. I feel like if I'm not getting the work, it's, it's not good value. But I kind of, oh, we, we, um, because one of the things that the online training, and I can see it happening already, and it's a, a similar thing that's happened um, to the gym industry, in my opinion, is the fact that what they've done is they just keep diluting the price. Everybody's competing on price. But when they compete on price, they're just diluting the service. So that by, by the end of it, because you cut the, you cut the price so much, that when the people get get actually get it, it's like it's not it's not in depth enough. It doesn't go far enough to actually help people get where they need. Because you know we all know weight loss in theory is, is is very similar, but it's very hard to do. And for me, for us to actually give even whether it's in person or online to give somebody several hours of our time each week, you know what I mean? It's like you know I've got a degree, I'm educated, I'm experienced. You know, we're like these people like people like us deserve to be paid well, like all professionals do. You get what I'm saying? So it's really important that people don't don't just kind of think that online is kind of some, you know, it's, it's a completely different experience. Online coaching well, is different like, than downloading that free app kind of or cheap app. Sorry? Almost like fobbing them off. What do you mean? Like kind of, it's like, it's like, oh, you know, I could train you or I could, you know, give you an app. Yeah. You know? And it's like, and, and that's actually just not what it is. And that's what was my next question for you. It's like, like, so let's say I'm, I'm, I'm on, on the fence. Yeah. It's like, what would I get from joining the program? Um, like, let's say, what what's the main benefit of online training um, in our program for you? So yeah, so the current program we have, so basically, kind of obviously, there's, there's, there's obviously there's obviously different levels of of service, um, and I can go understand. I can go I can go as deep as can go as deep as you want. But the main benefit is like it's it really is the ultimate flexibility and freedom. You know what I mean? It's like do what you want when you want, where you want, with who you want. You know what I mean? Anytime you want. You get what I'm saying? But again, but then the whole thing is it's all it's all custom and tailored to your goal. You get what I'm saying? It's not this kind of cookie cutter approach everyone's doing. You know what I mean? It's everyone can be custom and tailored because the workout is the least important part. It's the diet, it's the accountability, it's the support, it's the goal setting. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's, it's having somebody who's going to check in. And if you miss a workout, it's you get a text message. Hey, what's up? What happened? Why didn't you make the workout? Yeah. You know I mean, somebody's that, reaching out. Somebody knows. The next point was so like, so although you said it's like freedom, do whatever you want, when you want, or who you want. It's like, so why do I need you? Because, because, because like most people, you know what I mean? We don't, like a lot of the time we don't follow through. We need that, that external accountability, especially in the early days until we cultivate the habits, until we cultivate the routine and they're, they're deeply, deeply, deeply ingrained in us. We need, we all need somebody else. And again, it's not even, it's, that's the whole thing like when Michael Phelps it's like all like all these elite athletes all have coaches why because we all need that little bit of a kick up the arse to give our genuine best effort you know what I mean so it's like the people who are who are feeling like I said my opinion is two people do really well with coaches one absolute beginners because you know they're, they're starting from scratch they need they need help and it's like working with me I could get you there in six months where if you do do it on your own it might take you a couple of years through trial and error and fall off the wagon back and the wagon in and out it's like listen it's completely possible for you to do it on your own but it's like paying for a coach in my opinion should be you should be paying for for speed to get a certain result faster yeah you know what i'm saying and then we can tailor tailor the, the the entire the entire program then around around kind of people's needs wants preferences you get what i'm saying like we've got a couple of different options now can you, you can do you can you can work it live with a trainer if you want to you know, you can you can have a have a have a customized or personalized workout program if you maybe want to prefer to work on something else. You know, again, some people are using this opportunity now to can maybe, as you say, get into running. You know, we could, we could do a running program or maybe a strength and conditioning and a mobility element, or you know what I mean. But the key is that it kind of stay that it stays personal. You get what I'm saying? That it doesn't become, you know, this kind of this automated um, app. You know, it's it's like it, 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 personal training should still stay personal but we're just taking it we're taking it online and because we get to use leverage science and technology you know what i mean you can really still deliver an amazing set it's like we knew like you know what I mean? here we are having this conversation you know what i'm saying i said like people this morning do probably like give them live feedback open your hips more pull them shoulders back get your chest up you get what i'm saying you can give all this through through video it's like 2020 is an amazing amazing time to be alive you know and it means that you can work with the coach that you want to work with say there's somebody over in america you know, and they're, they're, what would they like? they're a powerlifting specialist. I mean, you can uh, work with them. And, and again, it doesn't have to be a, a watered-down version of the service. It can be, be pretty good. Obviously, listen, in-person, 
in my opinion, probably is a little bit better. You know what I mean? Because it just is a little bit easier to build relationships, build rapport, and that kind of stuff in person. But online, like you're getting, you know, 99% of the benefits. You know I suppose, I mean? But I suppose it depends on the person as well. I mean, like you get some people who they get to the till and they just love chatting to the, the shopkeeper and then you get other people who don't want them to even look at them. Exactly, yeah, so true. It just kind of depends on the person, the personality type, you know, and how much, how much, how much of that they want. And on our land, just as you said, that kind of, as far as I talk that, I think it's more so people just aren't used to this yet. You know yeah. what I mean? They're just not that used to it. So like the more we probably, we do this kind of stuff a good bit, so we're pretty, getting pretty good at it. You know, I can have a great conversation with you. Yes, and, yeah. you know true 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 this kind of medium some people maybe are a little bit more awkward or shy on this stuff because they're just well, not that used to a little, little um initial period and but again for it only lasted a few minutes like i was a little bit um hesitant when i was kind of like oh you know teaching and coaching online and then like i said once you did it after you know a few minutes you f- you fairly find your rhythm like. yeah because as you know like the key the three key pieces uh, the three key pieces of our program are our fitness nutrition and accountability and for me, accountability is by a mile the biggest part. And that's kind of what really what people are paying for. Like what I would ask people is like, because when you're looking for, like say like you're looking for, for, for an online trainer, because people do have this perception of cheap when they, when, they think of, when they think of online training. Not to say that it's not an affordable option, but to just think, it, you know, you're talking like fucking, you know, Netflix kind of prices. Mm-hmm. You know I mean, but what, what we're looking at is like how much, like for, say for example, I, I rang my accountant and I was like, well, Bob, how much would it cost for me to have you on call 24-7 answer my questions? How much is it going to, how much is it, how much is it going to, is it going to be, will you be my consultant? I might, I could ring you any day of the week. You know what I mean? How much is it going to cost? Like, what do you think, what is he going to say? Five, five or ten or a month? Doubt it. I doubt it. You yeah. know what I mean? Not, I'm not, definitely not somebody good. Yeah, yeah. You get what I'm saying? So it kind of all depends. And because the, the way these different models, models work, some people's online coaching model is, is no price, but thousands of customers. Or some mm-hmm. people's is higher price, but work with less customers. My advice, this is the model we're going for. Higher price, work with less people. And make a more personal, more custom, more customization um, a be- and, a, and a better level of service, in my opinion. You know? Yeah, I agree. And then the other aspect I was going to say is like you're also entering into an online community. Yeah. So you, get, you, get, you kind of get the best of all worlds. You kind of get that one-on-one support. But then you also get this whole thing, like that as well, because we love it. We're kind of big fans of kind of masterminds, and you know, kind of when two people come together, they can they send the the kind of law of synergy, you can achieve much more. Um, and it's so it's so powerful during the community of people um, who are kind of on the same mission as you, you know, on the same journey, on the same path, trying to achieve the same things. Mm-hmm. I mean, I just really really encourage people. I feel like what what this kind of COVID nineteen has done is it's really kind of it's really helped people see a lot of the the positives. Obviously, listen, there's, there's ever as you posted yesterday, I think on your Instagram, the yin, the yin and the yang. You know, there's always going to be good and bad. There's good and bad there, and that's just literally is the circle of life. You know what I mean? But I think what this has really done is this really accelerated people's um, people's like dipping their toe into the kind of online world. The fact that so many yeah. people are now working from home. So many people are now using Zoom. So many people are now communicating with their family and getting good at all this kind of stuff. Because it is an amazing tool at times like this. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, see, yeah. I, I think it's unreal. I literally like, I, I, I see people all the time and they're always like cursing social media and stuff like that. And I always think back to, I remember me and you had a conversation in the community center. And I remember I, I said, yeah, I was like, um, um, or maybe you said to me, it was like, you know, like your news feed can be something that inspires you and motivates you and educates you. And I was like, yeah, but how? And generally, like, that's, it's so funny thinking back in the now because generally come from a place of ignorance. I was like, I thought you just got what you got. Yeah. I mean, and it's like, it's not, it's like you actually can tailor your news feed, news feed by following the right people and um, the, the right groups and all that kind of stuff. And my news feed, honestly, it's like one of the most positive things ever. You know, it's like, I don't get a negative thing onto my feed at all. Like I literally hardly even, got one article about the COVID-19 death toll or all that kind of stuff. And it's not because I, I'm, I'm ignorant to it. It's like, you know, I listen to people talking about it, but that's not what I, I want to be. In. Exactly. It's like when I, when I want to seek out that information, I, I will go, I will seek it out. It's like, I don't want it to be forced on me. It could be exactly be forced on me to be. Yeah, exactly. Cause it is, it's very, it's very hard. And this is kind of why I'm so kind of passionate about really trying to kind of help people. Like let's stay on track. Let's not fall out of routine. Like we all know, especially this time of that, like I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure everyone has like me and everyone's a little bit more anxious. You know, we've got a lot more fucking skin in the game. Obviously that me as a business owner, you know, and employees and all this kind of stuff, the uncertainty and the economy and everyone that's, everyone that's going on. Like, you know, like anxiety is just, is just a little, they're just baseline anxiety has just increased 10, 20% for most people. I'm sure. 
Yeah. Um, you know, but at the same time, then like everybody's kind of well, not everybody. A lot of people are falling out of routine, and you know, and, and like it's it's so important that we that, that, we, that we stay. You know, that the the correlation between you know um, lack of routine and decline in mental health. People who kind of don't have a set bedtime or a set wake time, like how they are much more likely to develop kind of um, develop depression and, and more anxiety. You know, so trying to help people kind of keep that routine, regardless of the fact what you, what of, you? of how powerful diet and exercise are on their own just kind of having the routine and being part of the community and having the coach and having that engagement and kind of still feeling like you're making progress and that the world hasn't stopped and you know that you're that, that, that life can go on in some sense what's your what's your not your science what's your bro science opinion on that like on on people like getting depressed like with this kind of like whole like letting on top of them because obviously look we're not scientists you know it's like but what if, i genuinely i genuinely believe that you know you've got great experience and you know it's like you we, we we've been in touch and in contact and you've gotten in deep with an awful lot of people and you know i feel like this is like depression is definitely something that we've maybe even seen before but it's like but we're just like what's your what's your opinion on it you know and like on that whole going to bed thing like why do people fall into such a like a hard time you know like why do people like really, really get like i see it, people really letting in on that and are you are you talking about kind of the why the correlation is so important or no, just just like you know, what are, like why are people falling into that trap of that negative, like that negative place that they, you know, people constantly get into, you know, whether it's you know, it's like people, people, people were in that mindset before COVID nineteen ever happened, yeah. and it was just completely overwhelming and just knocked them for six. Yeah, I th- I think I think honestly, I think it's it's just poor thinking habits, poor thinking habits. I I know the way my mind works, right? My mind is 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 default setting is is to be negative. I know, I know that for a fact. It's like if, I'm, if I know I'm not supposed to think about something, it's like I'll think about the bad thing, and I'll just kind of come in. And it comes in again. There are these kind of what we call invasive thoughts. They come in all the time. But what we need to do is we need, and again, people people just don't do it. It's like simple things, like where you have the gratitude journals. You know what I mean? What you have to do is you have to rewire. You know, you have the true repetition because that's how your mind works. Repetition by either seeing seeing the things you're grateful for, programming yourself to look for the positive instead of the negative. Because remember, the the mind is is this kind of defensive mechanism. You get what I'm saying? And it's always going to point out the dangers and the flaws and what could go wrong, you know what I mean? And and the mistakes that you've made so you don't make them again. So these are the things that are are, are the default wiring is set on. So what we got to do is, true again, simple things like gratitude journal. Another one, positive self-talk positive affirmations, even mantras or prayer was, was a really good one that people have really lost touch with. And again, I'm not religious. I don't really pray, but I'm kind of into the gratitude stuff and maybe even in some level kind of positive statements, maybe even a little bit of mantras and stuff we've done through yoga. Um, and I see, I feel like that, I feel like it's just a lack of proactivity. I really do. I really do believe that. I feel like it's a lack of proactivity. People just accept the default setting. And it's yeah. like, it can be better, but you got to do the work. And the problem is a lot of people just don't feel like, that the problem is that's and I feel like the conversation, especially in mental health, it's so it's so disempowering for people. Mm-hmm. Unless it, the, 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 the chat seems to be what I pick up is like it's out of your control. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's something that you can't do. You know, and, so, and again, this whole thing like it's not your fault, and it's not your fault, but it is your responsibility. That's it. It's your responsibility. Your it's your mind. It's your mental health. It's not nobody else. And it's like, what are we going to do? Are we going to bitch and complain that the mental health service is not what it should be? Or yeah. are we going to do what, do what we can? What do what? Have a look inside our own circle of control. Have a circle. Have a look inside our own circle, our own community, and see is there any people I can reach out to talk to? And again, as I said, the internet, millions and millions of people struggle with their, with their mental health, and especially now. I know people are struggling now, and the lack of lack of resources, the lack of being able to access to, to different things. But it's like if you look in the right places, if you're proactive, if you do your best to take the action, you know, and it can I just feel I believe it can be better. You know what I mean? I just. I just want to be the uh, like a uh, um, like a positive advocate for it in terms of like you can take action. I remember doing doing stuff before like it was the, the we we done um, and part as part of the boxing club and I really kind of I know really really just got me thinking about it. it was this kind of concept of the black dog and it was this black dog and I was following you around and there's nothing you can do about it. But at the same time, I was studying things like positive self talk and and mindset and you know I was getting into kind of things like Tony Robbins and all this kind of stuff. And I was thinking. Jesus, yeah, I get that because I can. I, I know, I know what that feels like. But 
I've, I've actually found this really useful. There's actually, you know, you can you can actually take control and do a little bit. Again, it's not perfect. I'm, I mean, I'm sure most people watch this. Most of our clients think that you know we're probably the fucking the most energetic, most positive people in the world. You know what I mean? But oh, the truth is, we're not. You know what I mean? It's like even last night, you know, kind of things were kind of popping in my head and all kind of whatever that's going on. You know, but it's like, but now I have the tools. I have the go-to things. I can remind myself of the things I'm grateful for. Because what is this this concept of like happiness? or happiness and fear can't live in the same place. You get what I'm saying? You can't, you can't feel both emotions at once. You know, so, so kind, of, kind of I program myself by kind of, when I feel like when I, when I feel myself going there, you know, I, 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 I have a few, I have a few moves like I, I can play. You know, a few things I can do, a few tool, tools, a few resources I can call upon to kind of help me get, on, get back on track. But it's that thing you said as well, yes, to go back to your post, is this whole thing. It's like, it's never going to be one or the other. It's always going to be a balance between the two. And when you get pulled too far over this side, something's going to pull you over here. So if you're, just, if you're too happy, something's going to remind you, you're in. Everybody loves going to die one day. You're in. And then if you're too sad, you're in. You, hopefully you kind of can use, use these tools and resources to kind of pull you back over and remind you, you're in. Live in the moment, you know, all like, that you have to be grateful for. I think it's like you said, um, the, the, the automatic thing is the negative. Exactly. Like everyone says, the weeds grow. I mean, so it's like you, you don't have to work on the weeds. You know what I mean? The weeds are growing effortlessly. Yeah. You know I mean? it's, it's, it's the beauty you need to cultivate. And I think that like something that's so important is just like it's, um, you know, it's like we are, I think, I think we are animals at nature. You know what I mean? And I think that, you know, through evolution and culture and religion, like we develop this wonderful society. And I think that now we think that that's the automatic sin and it's really bloody not. You know what I mean? Like it took an awful lot of work to get from where we were to where and and what we were to where we are and what we are now, you know, and that that took a whole pile of of work and culture and you know like scolding and rewarding and understanding in order to get here. And I feel like you know it's like it doesn't actually take that much to kind of shake that. You know, you see people panic and you kind of see them revert back a little bit to a little bit more animalistic tendencies and it is a case of now it's just like like i said but it's like we need to go back to the tools that got it there like the but that's what happens that's what happens especially in these times of scarcity or these times of danger yeah you see i can't remember i was talking to somebody i think it was lean buddy yesterday is that quote i can't remember exactly that quote from from the the joker movie or from the batman movie he's like oh yeah he's like oh yeah they're great kind of talking about kind of people in the man yeah, oh about. yeah they're great but wait till wait till wait till you see how to act when they get hungry Wait till the, there's a wolf, wolf at the door. And then kind of see how we quickly deteriorate. And you can even see it slightly small. I know kind of how people are fucking, you know, curtain twitchers and fucking, you know, you've got too fucking too many rolls, a tighter roll in your house and, you know, and all this kind of stuff. Like people kind of don't be long term around each other, I don't think. Um, but, you know, I just feel like it's so, it's so important that we just kind of, we just remember that we have control. We yeah. have, we have some element, or it's like we have as much control as anybody else. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? And that you can take power, you can take responsibility. By taking responsibility, it is empowering if you seek out the right tools and strategies and coaching. That's something that we, we, we love as well. We can have the whole fitness mindset mastery. You know, kind of, I believe mindset is, is, is so important. You know what I mean? And that's kind of something that you can do kind of when you're working online with a coach because a coach can tailor the experience to you. It's not mm -hmm. just saying, because listen, I could say, I could give someone, write somebody a diet plan. I could write them out a couple of workouts. I could give it to them. And if they've done them, it would 110 percent work, but the problem is most people don't. And it's like that. And again, it's another one of these things. That doesn't mean you're a bad person. That's just kind of how humans are. You get what I'm saying? We don't. It's hard to pursue. Most people, it's hard to pursue hard things because out of, every, if, if, out of every ten, three will and seven won't. Yeah, this is it. Not even that's a fucking one will, nine won't. You know, especially when it comes to well, actually, no, you're probably right. When you look at the at the, the stats, you know, we're talking like what sixty seven percent overweight and obesity. So maybe yeah. So three will, seven, seven probably won't. So it's probably pretty accurate. Hi right, Steve, we got less than three minutes. Sum up why online training is the next. The next step for somebody who is in you know the cold COVID situation at the moment. Again, it's the next step because we can we can help you go from where you are to where you want to be. We can help you turn again. It obviously depends because everybody is different, and that's the beauty of it. We will we will work with you based off your current situation. We will provide you with tools, resources, you know, a coach, and experience just some things. Everybody wants the perfect plan. We won't give you the perfect plan. What we'll do is we'll get you started, and we'll analyze, we'll tweak, we'll review, we'll improve. We'll see how we go. We'll get the ball rolling. You get what I'm saying? We can get, we can start you off in your simple habits. We can get you back, back exercising. 
You know what I mean? People try and do too much too soon. So we'll do, we'll take, take, we'll start you from where you are and help you get where you want to be. You know what I mean? It's not necessarily, we're not going to throw this, throw a, throw, throw a program on you or tell you to follow this exact diet plan. It's like, we'll say, well, here, start with this. Yeah. Start with these workouts, start with this diet plan. Let's see how it goes. You like, if you, if you, we'll take what you, we'll keep what you enjoy. We'll, we'll try and improve, improve what you don't or kind of see what, where you're struggling with, you know? Um, but it really is, it's, it's, it's an amazing time because of the, the flexibility, the freedom, you know, you can do, you can do it from anywhere. Time is less of a factor. There's no commute time. Um, you know, so I, what I would really just strongly would, would encourage anyone to watch this video that maybe isn't a member yet, do the free trial. We created a five day free trial. This is what it's all about because online training is, uh, is maybe a foreign concept to a lot of people because I feel like maybe trust just with everything that's happened is at an all time low. We want to give you, give you something for free. We want to give you results in advance. You want to give you five days free working out live with us. Like, no, we're not diluting our service. You're going to get a, you'll get a full service free for five days. Try out the programs, try out the coaching, see if you like it, see if you like the engagement, see if you like somebody checking in. Yeah. Give me a push, give me the high five. They kind of give me the support that you need, but also kind of holding me accountable and, 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 and I'm ready to tell you when, when you're not following through with your prom, the promise that you kept, you know, um, experience it, think, and then take it from there. Jump in. It's five days. It's free. Try it out. It's something you kind of have to experience. If you've never done before, I could talk all day about it, but you know, until you feel it and experience it, you know, that's, that's what you need to do. So if you haven't done the five day free trial, if any members are listening to this and they have any, any uh, friends or family, but again, that are sitting at home, maybe want to want to get back on the wagon. You know, maybe the fitness goals are falling off to the side. Maybe they can feel their their own maybe mental health. Never been on the wagon. Huh? Maybe we've never been on the wagon. You know, it's like maybe it's like you've literally been intimidated by a gym. You don't even have to go to the gym anymore. That's that's what I'm thinking as well. Like for for somebody starting out, this is a great this is a great option. You yeah. get what I'm saying? Like this is a great option. We can again, but 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 people won't. This this is the problem. It's like for somebody starting out, you know, probably the best thing for us to get them to do is all oh, listen. Get them to go for a couple of walks every week. You know what I mean? Get them to go for 20 minutes walking every day. But because it's not, you know, I mean? it's not the P90X or it's not the fucking high, high intensity fan dabby dozy training, you know, what I mean? they feel like it's not, it's not going to be worthwhile. But it's like, that's what your body probably needs right now. If you're a couple of stone overweight, you've never exercised, what do you, what do you, what do you want to do? Like, you know what I mean? You want to start go from zero to hero in, 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 in a second? Five athletes, like five quality athletes in the gym, and everybody else is like your 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 average man like has a job has a family wants to be fit you know what i mean and and yet no when when they found out that the weights were going and it was just body weight they're like oh sure that's you know is that going to be good enough for me it's like no offense yeah it's like but you're not you're not michael phelps you know what i mean like you don't need this like i said this you're not you're not arnold schwarzenegger you don't need these big high like don't get me wrong they, they'll get you somewhere quick but so will a good calisthenics program you know body weight you know especially for keep fitters you know it's great to kind of take that the focus off the weights and onto your own body weight and you know actually saying right well here's my machine here's machine number one you know it's best i learned how to move this properly and get pretty good and then um, pretty pretty you would say competent with this before we even start you know doing all that kind of stuff you know what i mean it's like your body weights you know throw your trips around for 30 40 minutes you'd be knackered 100 percent. again like that's what i'm saying it all comes back to what is the goal you know what i mean if your goal is you know if your goal is strength or maximum strength is like, listen, you should probably go off, you know, and doing some strength training. But if you just want to stay fit and healthy, there's a hundred different types of training you can do. You get what I'm even, saying? But even saying that, keep it's it like fun, a, keep it exciting. If your goal is strength and you literally are a couch potato, push oh, it. Yeah, it's not, yeah, your, body, it's your body's heavy enough to start yeah, with. It's a big time. Heavy. You know, yeah, you yeah, really modify. Yeah, definitely. All right, Cooper, I'm going to have to leave there because I know you've got, a, you've got a live session. 10 a.m. is one of our busiest sessions as part of our, our live program. And so I'll let you shoot off with that. Thanks a million for the good chats. If anybody who was listening has any questions, feel free to kind of like, subscribe, comment, um, wherever it is. And if you want to get in touch with me uh, directly, you can email coach at fightingfitnation.com. I can answer any questions that you have. Um, check out our website, www.fightingfitnation.com. Um, and we will leave it for there, guys. See you in the next one. Brandon, it was a pleasure. Bye-bye.